All right. There's part of the completed project. Now, part of the uh, preparation, of course, preparation is the key, is patching any of the spots that are stressed or little leak spots. This is Jeff here. Right here's two spots that are split open. And I got the membrane cleaner. Is already cut. Right. Put a little bit of primer down on this with a three inch roller. Now they say you don't need the primer. I don't but if you use this primer, which is basically like a contact cement, only it's uh, quite a bit thinner. Uh, really the, a the, uh, the tape is an adhesive backed patching tape, six inch. But if you use that primer and put this down, you'll have to rip the roof off yeah, in order to tear that patch back off. Once you set it in place, it's there. <clears throat> the way we look at it is, if you're going to put something on the roof that's going to last 15 to 20 years, you don't want whatever's underneath coming back up. And this stuff dries pretty quick. you got to make sure you put enough overlap on it. Now you can see where we've taped previously, here, and there's a little patch right there. Also, if you have any areas that are prone to uh, stress, you want to get those quickly and, and right off, and cover later. this wheel that rolls right on the edge of that. Pack this right down. Right up on the edge. And you find the shadows covering this. See that edge? Take this wheel right up and down it. Push right down on it. Work back and forth. I can't even begin to pull that up. Yeah. All right, good. Okay, this is our modified uh, Typhoon wet dry vac. We put some fat tires on it so that uh, it doesn't sink into the foam covered insulation of the rubber roof. Uh, and it's got a front mounted squeegee on it. It's a wet dry vac, essentially with a front mounted squeegee. You could pick one of these up at any uh, good janitary janitorial supply house and this is a dual brush uh, scrubber uh, lightweight uh, and the brushes are not very aggressive and that's what we use for cleaning the uh, the material all right now you can see this area here and uh, where the seams are 
you'll see that there's a little bit of water so that we know that we have a problem here. Uh, these seams haven't been taped yet, but what we're going to do is clean this whole section of the roof first, essentially from the end of this seam that we did last year. Uh, you see that line right there. And over to the uh, roller. Back around this way. See the circle over there. This is the section here we're going to use this as a cleaning demonstration area. All right, so now we went down the area slightly, and uh, we have a, a cleaner with uh, it's a uh, basically alkaline cleaner that uh, we're using, and uh, it takes the uh, whatever it is oxidation cleans the oxidation off the roof now if we were in an area where there was standing water uh, where you might see some uh, greenness there's some there let's say uh, this you'd have to clean with a uh, with a bleach uh, solution but when we're out here in the open we just use an alkaline alkaline being like a formula 409 only this is a commercial grade uh, and it's uh, mixed to the point where it's uh, rinse free all you have to do is scrub and uh, we do run a, another hose rinse over it just to make sure but you don't really have to rinse it A little bit, yeah. This this will uh, this this is a gives a nice scrubbing action without really uh, beating on the uh, EPDM. We're getting out the uh, wet dry vac and a little bit of a rinse. Now this would be done on a larger scale if uh, you know for this is for demonstration purposes. All right, so uh, we'll give this a uh, day or so of dry time, and then it'll be ready to coat. Okay, here's the clean, and there's the dirty. So we lifted all the carbon right up off here, all the, all the chalk and all the dust and everything, and got it lifted right up so we can apply the white membrane to it. Nice and clean.